Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. This is Aquaballs. Now guess what we got? We got a box. Fish, fish box. We got a perishable handle with care box. I haven't opened it. And I just took a marker, marked off some areas off of it so I can show you. Came to Bellflower, California. And here we go. We're going to just open it right now. Ding, ding, ding. This fish, the other day, I won on dancefish.com. I mean, dancefish uh, YouTube channel. Sorry, this dancefish.com. Anyway, so I'm just excited getting to open the box for the first time hoping everything in there all good and hey TJ's pet I'm in the floor <laughs> just sitting uh, opening the tape you can see one hand in the camera one hand trying to cut the tape and here we go we got a open by the way this looks like it just shipped yesterday which is Monday that's when usually Dan ships his uh, fish if it's everything is good with the weather and the weather was really good outside is really nice and sunny today uh-huh and here we go let's see what we got so we won this fish on Dan's fish uh, channel he's got a YouTube channel he's a uh, and he's got an, uh, uh, he sells fish on getgills.com. I put his link on the bottom of my uh, description if you guys like to check it out. And let's see, this is usually the heat tape. I'm sure it's hot. I'm, I'm, I'm touching it right now and it's warm. Yes, it's a little warm, man. That's good. So this is for Dan. He wants to see. How his fish arrives, you know. I'm just looking for something. Hold on, guys, one second. Uh, where, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So, I was looking for this. Dan, Dan wants to know his uh, temperature and everything about. Hello, Carolers Aquatics. Hello, TJ's exotic pets and plants. Nice. Uh, pound and more. Unboxings are always cool. I agree, uh, especially if you win a fish. Not, but I've never got one online yet. This is my first package from online. I'm just gonna check the temperature right there. It says 25, 77, which is very good. The packaging temperature, 90 degree. It's still warm. Dan, you can check it. Uh, take a look at this. Your packages are working good. All right, so this package has been here for about half an hour. I just received it, my first time opening. And those are Emperor Kirai Tetras. Uh, so Dan gave it away on his channel uh, the other day. Oh, wow, look at that. He packaged each one by one. Very nice. So we're going to check the temperature Uh huh. on the water. As you see, it says 26, 26, I'm going to say 26, and that's 78. Uh-huh, that's 78. So I will keep them in a little cooler side, guys. Uh, that's a good temperature for these guys. I will keep them around 75, 76 in my planted tank. I don't want to go 78. That's too hot for me. 74 is a little too hot, too. So that's where it's gonna go in my 120 long planted tank. Let's see the other ones. They're all, oh, that one's 79. Then you can see I have hold, so let me just take off and do it again. Uh -huh. 79, 79. Hold on, that one little warmer. Well, let's see. Get a big out, big one out, and here's the laser touching. Seventy nine. There you go, seventy nine. Temperature seventy nine. We have. Let's count how many we have. 
I'm gonna flip this around and put the fish on it. It says it's Kirai Tetras, as you see. Oh, this poor thing is flipping out. Also, a cool box, Dan. Uh, and the bags, I mean, bags, not box, bags. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It looks like they're double bagged, guys. You see, there's like bubble in the bag. So, here's one. I see one. I see two. Live and swimming. For a minute, I'm gonna just set it on the floor. It's going in a tank. I see three live and happy and woo, swimming. Very nice. I see four. Those are nice and healthy, beautiful fish. Uh huh. I see five. Very nice, Dan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. And I see six. So they are all alive. All six of them. Anything else in the box? No. Let's see. On the bottom, on the back. That's it. So this box will stay here. And we might ship something for somebody in it. Like a plant or something, you know? Uh, I will be putting this fish inside my 120 gallon, like I said. So here we go. We're gonna grab the fishies. I'm gonna go get a little container first. Okay, doke. Where is that container? Wait, 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 guys. Sorry, man. I'm getting you guys all dizzy. So uh, I want to show you something real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna put it down. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this fish real quick. I'll be right back. Guys, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Just uh, getting a container ready. Clean. Just rinse it up real quick. I'm going to be emptying that fish in the container first. So, here's the container. Where's the camera? So this is my South uh, American. We are uh, Zen Zijer, the unboxing the giveaway from uh, Dance Fish. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So we I already took off the fish. They are sitting on the floor for a second. And I'm gonna be putting them, uh, cutting the bag and putting them in here. All right. So let me turn the camera around and put it on me you guys gonna see me right now all walking up just woke up like a couple hours ago what's happening guys oh uh, don't look at that tank i was surprised i was surprised don't look don't look i'll show you so here we go okay so those are double bagged i'm gonna cut the first bag show you how it's double bagged Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See one bag in the bag, double bag, non-reusable bags. Uh, I like it, very nice. No leak at whatsoever, no leaking. I mean, this bag is not even wet. Nah. And here we go. It's staying solid in your hand when you cut the bags. You now look at the bag. The fish is there still. So. So I'm just gently gonna put the water and everything in here. Just let the fish go. There's one. And let's do the same thing for the next five. Mm -hmm. So you can just cut both bags and empty it out.
three more to go those are Emperor Kirai very pretty pink and purple there's no color to them right now wait until they get in the tank then we'll see colors they're all happy Those are my uh, pair of scissors for my aquascaping. You definitely need them. Alright, the last one. Okay, Duffy. So, here we go. The last of it. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. From Dan's fish on his giveaway the other night. They look happy. We're gonna put them in the water and give them a couple days. I'm not gonna throw them in the water right away. I might be, I'm thinking to actually drip acclimate them in here so they get used to the pH in my water. And also, one more thing I'm gonna uh, talk about. So, you know how I usually run my CO2 tank on the planted tank uh, non stop? I decided not to do that no, no, no more. Why? Uh, I have other tanks around. I need to give some CO2 to them and make more plants and I'll be able to, you know, take more plants to the club and so on and so on. And grow more shrimp in there. So, I'm gonna go get the drip acclimator. I start acclimating this to the big tank. While I do that, I'm gonna show you this tank I planted last night. I did put a video on an empty tank. It was full of water, but it just had a driftwood. So I did plan it. It was late night, guys. I don't think you wanted to hang out with me till four o'clock in the morning. Uh, hey, GH. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so let me just show you the tank. Give me one minute, okay, guys? Thank you for uh, hanging out. We have seven people watching. So here's the bags. Back in one. Very convenient. And his, this is his fish, Dan's fish. The key rice. There's flies in here, guys. They're bothering me. The temperature is dropped a little bit, like one degree, 77 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and drip acclimate them over there. Um, while I do that, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you the new tank. You're gonna see, you're gonna look at it real quick while I'm doing the other stuff. So see it from far away. I'm gonna take these guys and drip acclimate them. One side has a nozzle in the middle that uh, controls the drip and it's just a line, long, long line. I need a piece of tape which I have right here. I put a piece of tape on there and I put this one side in the tank, give it a little quick siphon and Usually there's some water in there. I'll open it up outside somewhere else and let it drip and that will make the siphon come out.
Alrighty. Drip, drip, drip. There's gonna be drip up in there for a little bit. Let me show you what I just did. Petzastic. Hello. I'm going to try to pronounce you guys' name better. I've been like butchering your, name, your names. Uh, pound and more. Let's go ahead and turn around and show you what I did last night to that tank. Dun, dun, dun. Moment of truth. What do you guys think? <laughs> there we go. So we got sand in the middle, capped it with dirt. This is all sand. This is darker, you see? Like. Uh huh. And then the dirt is right there. About an inch of dirt. And then my secret recipe underneath it. If you guys like it, I'll give you it next time. Next, next, next uh, planted tank, I'll give you it. This was just planted last night. And that's it. The contest Aquarius says looking good. I'm trying to go with that Dutch style. This has a sump and as you see the CO2 is here pumping. There's no fish in here. Dan's fish is not going in here guys. Uh, it's not. This is a freshly planted tank. Dirt is fresh. Uh, the, the filter has been running forever and ever. It you know took care of whatever was big fish in here before. Amateur Aquarius, hello, hello, hello. You know, so look at this piece of wood. I put moss on it. It doesn't look so good yet. Uh, I did have a lot more moss, but it's pain in my neck just to tie that moss on there. So guys, my giveaway video, I'm going to put another one soon explaining all of it, all about it. Okay, so just to let you know, I'm not forgetting about you guys. I'm not forgetting about you guys. So I'll explain all about it, how it's going to be very soon coming up. I'm just busy with life here, babies and handicapped kids and taking the school back and cooking for them and doing my fish room stuff, you know. Uh, please bear with me. Thank you for uh, hitting that 500 mark for me. Uh, that's a big success, you know. We started like a year ago, and look where we are now. Thank you, Amateur Aquarius. So this is uh, one I just planted last night. Uh, as you see, I brought all the plants from my own room. I was about to go buy a bunch of plants, spend like $50, $60, and then I was like, wait, 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 wait. You have over 40 species of plant you're giving away for free all the time to your friends why don't you chop up some of the stuff you have and try what you can do with it so that's my new year resolution to start doing things with what i have to show that i don't need to go every minute to the lfs and buy fish i can breed the fish i have and make my fish tank look amazing now i'm not selling anything guys uh, just having fun i don't want to sell anything it's not my thing if i want to sell anything i'll go open a fish business i literally buy an lfs you know that's what i would do i would go and rent a store and put a bunch of tanks and do this thing right in it that could happen in the future but it's got to be to the with the right people i work i put the work i like to work hard but it's got to be with the right people with the right minded people same minded like me and there's nothing but love in here.
How many different types? The context, the con constant aquarist had asked me how many different types. So just to let you know right now, I'm gonna count. There is, the on my right back plant is Brazilian pennywort. That's one. The one next to it, it's uh, some type of red. Uh, everybody knows that plant. It's beautiful, green on top and then red underneath. That's two. In front of them, there's a red uh, cryptocrony something something. I'll get you guys a name for that later. That's uh, one, two, three. In front of it, there's uh, this plant right there, tiger lotus. That's four. This this plant's right here, five. That's Pogo stem on hellfire. Uh, I think it is. It's still the short ones, guys. It stays in the floor. Look. It's a carpeting plant. So how many we count it? One, two, three, four, five, five. Next to it, this plant six. The red one in the back seven. This plant right here eight. The one in the back, that bubble, uh, the long one. Oh man, I'm losing count. So we got seven, eight, right? eight this is nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen different species right now as i'm counting no there is actually seventeen the middle one that the red one seventeen different so there is seventeen different species right now in this tank and this middle ones are the lagunandra they are very pretty, they get uh, about this high and they stop. It's really gorgeous plant. 17. Liguidia red, yes, Liguidia red, that's right. Thank you, GH. Uh, look at that red one, is my favorite. That one in the back, wow, so beautiful. I'm, I can't wait to get it like tall. This is a long tank, like a tall tank, you see how it is? Let's go ahead and measure it. How many gallon, you guys tell me. You aquatic aquatic geniuses out there, tell me how many gallon we have. Okay, okay. Aqua balls, relax. 29 and something. The tall, 29, gal uh, 29 tall this way. And we got this way, come on, dude. And the long way is, woo, come on, dude. 36 and a half. And then that way, that way is 15 and a half. So 15 and a half. Uh, forgot GH says 75 I kind of said it was 75 so it's a long tank I'm gonna enjoy watching those plants grow I made it sure it's got low front plant and the back ones will grow longer I'm if I don't like anything later on I will move it you know clip it and replace it with different plants to the roots you go down to the roots and smack it you know clip it with the scissors and you can leave the root ball in there, it will rot and it will be fine, causing more food for the plants. Uh, GH, to tell you the truth, this is my first time doing it this deep because the one I did here, where I'm putting the tetras, uh, this one is very, look, I can show you. Sorry, the light is off. I turned the light on six o'clock on that one. So you see there's only this much sand. I know I can add more sand on here, but it's fine the way it is, it's not doing nothing. I haven't added more sand because it's not that long. It's only uh, this long, this guy is like 17, let me see. 20 and a half, 20 and a half, 20 and a half inch long this way. So the plant's not gonna have that much room. Especially this long crepes, you know, look at the way how, how they're going. Uh, 
so I kind of this one have a lot of room and so I said let me put bunch and this is the first time I kind of did it right I think here's the side of it the background I got it from the show this weekend over on the reptile show someone had a removable background it's a longer one but I I cut the side of it to that side I kept the piece and I might use it for another tank I didn't cut it in like half and it looked good I kind of conserving you know <clears throat> let me show you what I'm doing with those key rights I trust real quick they are being trip acclimated okay guys so I'm drip acclimating this guys for as long as it's gonna take and it's gonna go in this tank the lights are off I have a lot of glares going from the back of the garage by the way let me shut the door really quick to show you that tank one more time because the glare is really bad outside Alrighty, now it's much better. So here you go, look at it. This is gonna be empty for a while. I'm gonna install the pH drop checker to see the pH is how high it's going and uh, if it's going too high, I might not leave any fish in here, guys. This might be just plants. If it's not going to go too high, the pH, when it's running for that six-hour period, I might put some fish. So I'm going to be removing this uh, uh, CO2 and putting it back in 120 gallon, putting it back in here, back and forth, back and forth. You guys have any questions about the substrate or anything just leave it in common I'll try to answer um, I tell you what I did with the substrate very simple very easy I I tell you what so the tank was running it had no substrate it was a glass bottom yeah I did the same thing uh, I added shrimp in my tank the tank is only 50 ppm so I I'm adding some kind of a mineral selenide mineral in there and so it's kind of helping them and I have some kind of a bowl like a little balls a brown and like look like clay balls but they're not like some kind of a bowl there to help to shed with their you know this the skeleton exoskeleton to help them shed with the so I have that in that tank so let me tell you what I did I took the bottle of the ADA nature aquarium uh, back to 100 and I put that in the bottom <coughs> excuse me guys And then before that I put some sand I had used sand from another tank that got busted on me what kind of sand uh-huh okay it's a sand that it's called uh, something quake it's from Home Depot cheap cheap that you mix cement with dirty 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 sand that's what that is and I just washed it yesterday and there's look at that look at look at the water guys huh you tell me that bubbles you're seeing is just the CO2 bubbles and here's the clarity for you I tried my best with the glass the cleaning the glass Do you see that okay you don't need to go buy a hundred and fifty dollar bag of sand to make it look nice this sand has like little pieces of gravel in it 
I like the way the texture looks look like a naturalistic. But you have to wash the I don't know what out of it. <laughs> if you don't wash it, you'll pr probably have the worst idea. If uh, hello big a red fish, blue fish is in the house. Uh, Java mass? No Java mass. No, that's a Christmas mass. It's a it's a larger type Christmas mass. It's just a regular Christmas mass, guys. Which they call it a whipping mass. That's what that is. When this grows really nice, it looks really 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 nice. So I have another piece in the other tank. I'm growing another piece of wood. It's looking so good. So I was up last night watching some, uh, you know, some German how to plant stuff. But I already know. I've seen those videos. It's the German style is easy. The, the Dutch style is easy. You just get bored out of it. But the only reason I'm doing this is so to so I can get those stem plants growing long and healthy with CO2, and I can take it to the club meetings maybe or. You know, take some to some of the LFS that this some of these plants they don't exist around they can sell it to other uh, people and let's talk about the fish light on top so look what I got I got two long coral life fixtures look how long they are guys all right so these are long on the 75 gallon they're like 36 or 46 inches 46 inches I believe so I got two of them each one has two bulbs I just changed the bulbs yesterday from Home Depot uh, one of them have the cool light looking and one of them has like the, the daylight like a uh, see and then we got two more bulbs which uh, those are LED bulbs on top and one is yellowish and one is cool so it gives that full spectrum when you look at the plants, it's gonna look really pretty and red. We want those red colors to pop out and, uh, you know, we all know what's up. Well, the Zen Ginger, I have not grown any Java moss. Somebody promised me uh, they were gonna send me a uh, Java mass I won last year. Hopefully, he sends it in the mail soon. I have patience. I have uh, no doubts on the kid gonna send it to me. Uh, you know, he said he was in vacation. I believe him. Uh, I'll wait, just like me. You know, I'm not in hurry to give you guys something. I'm trying to figure out. I want to make it nice and, you know, so whoever gets something be like, oh, this was nice giveaway. You know. It was worth it or something you know I'm trying to come up with something nice so let's see what what, what you guys uh, would like and see what's going on out there in the other giveaway channels and you know we, we need to watch a bunch of videos and learn about all that stuff first 808 tank I want to try a day start this year day start hmm what is it? Oh, dry start. Dry start method, 808 tank. Uh, it's not my favorite. One reason. It's only one reason only. Uh, so l let's say we grew the plants for about a month and a half to two months. It filled up beautifully. And then uh, we topped off that water. A month later, those plants going to be smaller, suffocating. They're not getting... Uh, a lot of CO2 that like they required and most of the time I end up with a bunch of algae because it was deteriorating and it wasn't growing good when I flooded it so I know I did it wrong I know there's ways of figuring it out my way didn't work I hope you find a way if you sh if you do share it with us try that dry start method I recommend you do it and share it with us please Ember does rock. 
GH says, of course. Uh, so what do you guys think about the background? The Atlantis. That's the filter intake, which uh, I'm thinking to shorten it, but it's not too good. Uh, I might get some kind of suction cups, have it just like go to the edge right there, or where the trident is, you know. We'll be like not seeing the trident anymore. But we got like trident there, trident there, another trident there. It's blocking with another uh HC Aqua. What's happening? <clears throat> so this is my work last night. I stayed up till four o'clock again. One night I stayed up four o'clock uh, just uh do the dirt. It took like long time guys, it wasn't uh easy. So Hopefully this plant right here will take off. I like this plant a lot. It's the pink flamingo. Let's see how it does. Here I nature. Howdy friends, he said. Uh-huh. Here I nature. We unboxed the uh, Emperor Kirai Tetras earlier. I'm drip acclimating them to put them in another tank. Uh, if you just uh, just got in here, uh, I'm just letting you know. And they're not gonna go in here. This is just a planted tank, guys. I'm showing you how I planted it. Very simple. This has a sump on there, and these bubbles are from the CO2. This is the outtake. There's holes in this, so it's like pushing a bunch of water around. Very important to have that. I'm gonna see if I like this method. So I can twist that. You can see there's holes in there, right? So it's coming out. I can twist it any way I want. I want it to face the moss a little bit, and but not so much agitating the moss. So it won't grow any detritus on their moss and it will grow really nice and beautiful. And I'm thinking shrimp. What do you guys say? Shrimp, shrimp all the way, only shrimp. But not crystals, just uh, either yellow or red or orange. Maybe orange shrimp. Orange will look really good with the green uh, plants and everything. And I don't even have to go buy those. I have them, guys. I have a bunch of uh, females are pregnant with a bunch of babies, orange. Hey there, redfish, bluefish. I'm gonna bounce out of here in another couple minutes too. Um, this is first day on this tank. And let's see what's gonna happen in about 30 days. Hey, someone uh, on my channel liked the, uh, who was it? Big J's, Big J's. Uh, if you are here, Big J's, uh, I like to show you those, uh, what are they called? The cichlids right here that you saw the other day, you said you liked them. Look how they're looking right now. I think they are the uh, Treadfin Acaras. But you said no. You said they, they, you had. I looked up Google, but somebody yesterday was saying they are uh, hybrids. So we don't know. They could be hybrid. And then here's this guy, the blue Acara. And its other friend I didn't like so much. I gave it away with the Oscars, guys. I don't have the Oscars any longer. I just gave them all away. They were eating me out of food and growing fast. I won't get those big fish no more. This is not a big monster fish room. 
I mean, some of these will grow up to like seven inches and that's it, six, seven inches. No more, this fish. But I don't want those big ones that grow 15, 16 inches. Yellow and red. Yellow and red would look cool in there, Zen, Zen Ginger said, in that tank. So, uh, Zen Ginger, I do have yellow, I do have red. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But the, if you mix them, kind of the yellow and the red, I don't know, they go brown. Then they go uh, something called black rose. <laughs> like, I have a tank right here to the right bunch of black rolls in there like this black shrimp with the like dark blue but they're black their eyes are orange they're not crystals they're uh the neo caradina not the auto water the regular water hard water fish the shrimp this fish is really pretty really nice i love it akaras are nice fish that's a hybrid too. Electric blue Akara is another hybrid. Uh oh. Sorry guys, my bad. Hey, so I don't know if I mentioned my New Year's resolution. So my New Year re Year's resolution is not to go to the LFS and buy fish. The one that is very close by to my house, the one I ride with my bike. I'm be going there buying supplies. He does hook me up for food, supplies, filters, uh, a lot cheaper than the internet. And uh, and uh, I'm, I mean, I know they're Chinese product, not but they work, guys. I mean, you know. He did have good fish, though. I'm not lying. The fish was not the problem. The only reason I don't want to go there is because I spent so much money last year there. And I want to see if I don't go there and I don't spend that money, save it, and see if I can put some AC here in the room, cover the top, make the fish room backgrounds better, see how there's, like, nothing here put a nice air pumps around put a sponge filters all to my tanks make it nicer better instead of just uh, buying fish no need to buy fish no longer just we have plenty let's raise these ones and see if we can breed them out all fish are pretty you just gonna focus on few that you like when you have this many you guys still there Am I boring you? Wanna see the other tank again? Oh man. Let me show you the back rows I was talking about. Hold on. Turn the light on on this guys. Well, if we plug it, it will be nice, right? Oh, 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 this is one shrimp you all, you guys all want to see. Look at that yellow back green. Yellow back green, my creation. It's right on front of us. Oh, I love that one right there. That shrimp, it was at my LFS for 20 bucks, guys. I didn't buy this one. I just, it came out out of my batches, you know. I have a bunch of them everywhere, but not, not, not that type. There's orange right there. This is Crypt Parva, really pretty Crypt. Recommend you guys give it a try. It takes a long time to grow though. There's a green looking shrimp right there. Bunch of blacks in here, so we gotta give a food to, for them to come in the front. There's a black one going in a crevice. And there's a bunch of fry. Oh, baby, there's baby in there in front of them. They just moved. Somebody had babies. So that's that green one right there. You see it with the yellow on the back? Man.
Recon338, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were live either, bro. I hope mine didn't interfere with yours either. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't have a set time that I go live every time. I just do it whenever I feel like it and whenever I have time, whenever I have something new going on. To share with my fish tube friends, and this is a seven and a half gallon, I believe. It's been about a year and two months. Shrimps are happy in there. I have a contra soil, Altum Nature. It doesn't fluctuate the pH, it, and I use uh, no RO water here. It's just a regular city water. And just, you know, put the prime in there, and that's it. Da da da! So let's do shrimp in here guys, shrimp, bunch of shrimp everywhere. Well, I want to go more uh, either live or put more videos. Every three days or so, if I don't put a video, my fish channel will say, your channel has no new content. If somebody checks me out and they're gonna see that, they're not gonna subscribe to me. So that's what was going on last year. I can't fix it for some reason. Someone's telling me to put a like a intro video, but I only use this phone, guys. I don't use the laptops. I don't not good at YouTube and stuff on the laptops. I guess I have to learn. Just go practice, practice, and see if I can mess it up or fix it. Rob93 Aquatics is in the house, says, what's up party people? Rob, nothing much, just stayed up all night planning this uh, tank, and we got in the package from Dan's fish. All the fish is healthy, happy, with drip acclimating them. Uh, temperature was all good, the box uh, didn't have any water in it. I recommend everybody, Dan's fish guys amazing guy uh, he gave me his fish this six fish to try them out and hopefully we'll be buying fish from him at at getkills.com I did put his uh, link down in my uh, description if you watch this video later and check it out and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me and the likes please I'll be showing you more what to come it'll be fun with my funny accent and dry mouth. Hey guys, I think it's time to call it a night. What do you think? Are we good to go? I'm gonna say good day. You guys all have a fantastic new year if I didn't say happy new year. And I will be getting back to you day by day I put little videos of this fish tank and show you what's going to be changed I kind of made my mind up with the plants maybe I'll change a little bit right in this area I might take this out and put something either green or more uh, different maybe I'll do something different in that area I'm not sure so we'll see how those plants grow first I hope this is a uh, densely plant it enough doesn't cause any algae issues and because the filter has been on this tank a lot long time for like over seven eight months long that did show me that it handled the oscars it handled the discus you know the filters work good so hopefully it does its job and we'll see you guys later and thanks for staying till the end you have good 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 afternoon guys Thank you.